Where we are Last time I remember It was late December Sitting out in the parking lot Taking midnight drives On the empty highway It feels like so long ago But like yesterday to you now Now we just wanna go back again And I can't help thinking about Hello! Hello to all my good beans and potatoes out there. It is early morning for me, but I'm sure it is not early morning for others. Let me just move windows around so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yahaha! I hope the volumes are okay. I may have to turn the music down on my end because it is blaring uh, today I'm gonna be working on some character art for my upcoming web comic called weight of scales Woo. I don't know if you can actually see my cursor or not it's probably very small <clears throat> uh, I've got uh, sketch sheets up <laughs> ready to go. Uh, we'll probably work on uh, the character of Drake first and then see how we go. 
I will have to stop on time today at uh, around noon my time because I am helping a friend move into his first house. Uh, and I want to make sure I am uh, not uh, late. Because <laughs> we gotta get a truck ready and move a bunch of big furniture. So it'll be all right though. So I hope you enjoy. Also, I am sorry there are ads on this stream. Uh, <laughs> it's just one of those things. I, uh, I had to do it. I had to do it to you. Sorry. <clears throat> Anywho. Goodness, this is a mess. Let's turn down some of these other layers so I can actually see one of these at a time. Feel free to ask any questions uh, about either... Hi, Van Wolf! Hi! Good morning! Or afternoon or evening. Wherever you're at. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can probably turn this style trial off. And then... Which layer is this one? Alright, well... Mm, I'll probably move this one down so that one's later. <clears throat> I hum a lot, sorry y'all. Let's actually, yeah, let's do this one it's before 12 so hooray morning morning ba -da -da -da. Oops, why did it do that? Why is it there? No! Okay, well, fine. I'll leave that there. I love these little derpy faces I draw. forms uh, sketch because we gotta at least do a digital sketch first because my sketchbook sketches do not look the same as my digital sketches and since the webcomic is gonna be made in this program I might as well redraw them he looks so serious in this picture. <laughs> I forgot his gauntlet too. How sad. Uh, it's time to test brushes now. Whee! And the warm up circles! Warm up circles! I should have probably done these earlier, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, hmm. Well, how are you doing this morning, Van Wolf? I know there's a delay.
doing good. I don't know how much you can interact. No worries. I will limit my direct, uh, was it questions to you? I will say that I have managed to crank out the last couple pages of um, what I have fully written out of the written version of the story. So I can send that to you to beta read probably later today. If, if I don't collapse from helping my friend move. <laughs> Probably move. Oopsie. Well, that works actually. <clears throat> Yay! I'm excited to have you read it. I hope you don't judge me on my horrible uh, formatting skills. You make no promises. Oh no! <laughs> I fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, erase are too small. <laughs> That's not the right button. You'll have to tell me. Oh, it's ad time. That's why. <laughs> That's why the whole thing jittered to a halt. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I'm back on mapping pen. Uh... Just gonna do that, didn't I? <clears throat> I just like that. <laughs> well, almost. Come 
cannot see. Cannot see. Ba -da 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 -da. No, we're not doing that. Uh, we're going to use the move a thing tool. Move it up. I want this picture to be of relatively good size to start. And then I can always shrink it down later. This, on the other hand, is now going to need to move to his face. Noink. This, why I do that? No ads for you. Huzzah! Excellent. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about, actually. <laughs> it's morning brain for me. <laughs> oh. oh, you know what I should do? I should drink more of my tea! Mm. I guess what I was going- I think I remember what I was going to say. I was going to say something about um, the written version of the webcomic and it's uh, status, but I can't remember what it was. I'm still not sure if I want to have his hair down like the front here, or if I want I want it to be all slicked back like I have it in the cover art. Although it's slicked back in the cover art here because of wind. Speaking of tea, the way my avatar's position could totally replace the pen with a mug. I probably could. Yeah, I could do a version with that. That'd be fun. That could be another stream day thing. Where I just make a bunch of silly, uh, fun props that I can toggle around. I definitely have, I think, two more toggle slots on, um... Uh, Viedo tube. I'm thinking, thinking about you. I think. Let's see. Wake up, I'm thinking I think, yeah. It looks like I have space for two more. You know our love was ten times sweeter than candy, ten times sweeter than cake. I'm 
might switch up like the hype one. If I really need more space, we'll see. I think it's really funny. I was thinking about it this morning that um, a lot of Drake's design is actually based on the old um, Gargoyles cartoon. Especially with like the level of, the, I guess the lack of detail in the wing shapes. Yeah, I love that show too. I actually tried to rewatch it recently. Um, there was so much going on. I I stopped rewatching it. I think because I had to. Uh, I think yeah, I was rewatching it when I was living out in an apartment. And then we had to move, and I lost all of my, like, favorites and stuff. I had to rebuild from scratch, so I'll have to see if I can find that place where I was watching it before. This is a dang good show, so. I remember that I'm trying to like simplify the shapes. <coughs> Excuse me. Cursed morning mucus. Oh, I know what I needed to bring up. <coughs> Where are my. I need to find my armor references. Oh, references! Where are you? Um... That's not right. No, 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 no. Hmm... Clothing? Are you the one I'm looking for? No. That's not right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, where might the bookmark be? Interest. Oh god, Pinterest is a trap. A trap, I say. Oh, there's just too much good reference here. Illustration reference and clothing and drapery. Here we go. Where's my armor stuff? Well, there's the gambeson ideas. Always fun designing 
well. It's always fun and frustrating designing clothing for characters because, you know, depending on the character and their anatomy, especially the fact that Drake's anatomy changes partway through the story, well, multiple times throughout the story, uh, makes designing clothing difficult. And I have to account for things like, does, uh, does the clothes just kind of magic and stretch and do whatever? Or does it rip and tear and destroy itself? Yeah, Pinterest is absolutely a rabbit hole. Well, I have a picture of the uh, inspiration for the Black Ring Orders uniform. But that's not what I want right now. <laughs> Wee! Come on. Uh, I've got a lot of generic, like, JRPG uh, uh, character art as reference. Hello. Well, hello. Thank you for the follow. I am here. I'm just gathering reference that I forgot to get. <laughs> trying, trying so hard. I'm downloading them all so that I can just import them into the uh, window quickly. Um, I know I have more than just two. There's no way I only have two. No, 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 no. I mean, I do like the little uh, backpack strap for the, like, draconic tail. There's like a little, I've got a picture of a cute little... Uh, strap-on backpack. Kind of like the ones that uh, go around your waist and then also clip around your leg, but for a tail. Which I think is super neat. And would be convenient, but uh, <clears throat> Drake would lose it instantly after the first, you know, five minutes of reading, or two minutes of reading, I guess, in, in the written version of the webcomic. He's not that plated. He's not wearing full plate. He's just wearing a little bit. A little bit of armor. Protect the important bits. This isn't World of Warcraft. Eh. I think I remember also thinking about covering up the pauldrons or spallers with cloth, like some kind of cape, because I don't want to have to draw them all the time. There's just something about that shape. For some reason, it just makes me angry. No wonder you can't see you or see me in your tab. You ain't following me? Ah, well, I'm doing all right. <clears throat> yeah, Twitch is very strange. Uh, it... It doesn't really do a very good job, I think, of, like, suggesting people if you're not following a whole lot already. <laughs> These little generic RPG boys are very funny to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a little closer. But more like the other picture. Ba -da 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 -da. <clears throat> Come on, go back. Yeah, I think I've also been getting, um, what do you call it? I'm getting emails that a lot of my pins that I've been saving are being deleted, which is totally fine. I, you know, understand the original artist's, um, desire to keep their art off of Pinterest. 
And let's see if it'll let me open any of those. Can I import an image, please? From the downloads folder. Only two of them worked. Grand. Awesome. My favorite. Love that for me. <laughs> Most places nowadays uh, only upload in a format that Clip Studio cannot understand. So, um... <clears throat> so yeah, I either have to open it in like paint <laughs> or something and then convert it into something that Clip Studio can read and then import it, but I don't want to just sit here fiddle faddling with my windows that you guys can't see. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I think... Yeah. I use a lot of armor terms in the written version. What's the tech level for the setting this takes place in? Oh, well, that depends. Um, on the Amythia side, it's very, like, medieval fantasy high, high magic setting. And then when you come to the Earth side of uh, the story, it is like modern day tech, but there is a like hidden world-esque situation where there is magic, but the magic is less advanced than a Mythian magic in the sense that it's just not as easily accessible for uh, people of Earth to use. Spandex is an option, yes. Uh, spandex is an option for the Earth side, for sure. Uh, I don't know about the Amythian side. Um, I don't know if like they would invent plastic because polyesters and rubbers and stuff, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, there's definitely a plan for, for Drake to wear one of those classic, like, uh, well, actually, I think uh, Reed is wearing one of these, where it's that turtleneck that is, um, that is sleeveless. It's that, one of, one of these numbers. I love me a good sleeveless turtleneck. <laughs> but yeah. I, uh, and that's one, like, absolutely freaking spandex. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, for, for this drawing, uh, at least this particular part of this drawing, I'm trying to get his armor figured out so that when I draw the webcomic, I'm not struggling. <laughs> uh, like, I have the side view, and then I'm going to do a front view, as you do for most character things, like concepts, even like these that I've got pulled up as reference. Uh, those are three quarter ish view, which sort of works, but. In a webcomic, you're going to be seeing these characters from all kinds of angles. So I need to do at least a front, a side, and a back of uh, the main outfits. We're definitely going to have, like, Scooby-Doo-esque uh, levels of reusing the same outfit every day. Except for maybe, like, mild t-shirt color differences uh, for the Earth side because so much of the story happens there. And I really don't want to um, design fashion for every day of their lives. So, uh, yeah, we're not we're not doing that. Yeah, I like these simple kind of pauldron things. 
this is this one in the middle is actually pretty close to what I imagined Drake wearing. Just uh, not so much the chainmail coif. I don't I don't particularly like drawing chainmail. I have a brush for it, but I don't like drawing it. The texture is just very busy. Uh, but yeah, I'm basically adapting something like this armor to more draconic anatomy. <laughs> I've made the image pretty big, so we'll work our way down and make it smaller as we need. Uh, but yeah, I... Because he's got, like, a courget. And, like... The only difference is that I have Drake wearing a little bit of a chest plate. Because I... In the beginning, I have him slammed up against a wall and the back part of it gets dented. And, you know, just to show the how much force was applied. Have I considered scale mail? A little less complicated to draw? Eh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, there could be a layer of scale mail somewhere in there. I haven't... That's what this is for. That's what... This is what the sketch day is for, is to kind of figure these things out. Um, and I'm a LARPer, so, like, I've been around people who are wearing armor a lot. Uh, I just, I won't be pulling up any of the images of my LARP friends for this, because I don't want their images being seen online this way, so. But yeah, I... Oh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Well, hi there, spirited! You got it installed on your tablet? Nice! I hope your leg is feeling a little better. I know it's not doing so hot right now. I love that I can just use this fun little device here and just move things when I don't like how they look. <laughs> Can you all even see my cursor when it's not drawing? Like, can you see it swirling over here by Drake's snoot? Can you see a small little pixelated dot? <laughs> I'm always worried that, like, I'm gesturing with things. It is visible, just very teeny tiny. All right. Teeny tiny. Mmm. Ad number four. I'm sorry. It's my fault, Spirited. I need to turn it down. I need to turn it down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll do that. I'll do that before Wednesday. I'll turn down the ad, like, number. I let it default to whatever it recommends because I'm still learning about the settings. But, yeah, it seems like it's way too often, and I don't want to subject you all to that. The streams are long, but they're not long enough to justify that many ads, I don't think. Uh, just seems excessive. Yes, it is very excessive. I'm just like, dang, dang! <laughs> I have. Hold on. Hold on. I need to 
turn these off for a second so I can see the other parts of the canvas. There is... No. Wait. No. Is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. I apologize for semi nude people. I did draw. Okay, but like that only really works for that anatomy. I need to move where the opening for the uh, gambeson is. <coughs> I think. <laughs> because he has digitigrade um, legs in his draconic form. So, mm, so something, ugh. hydration check. All right, all right, all right. I see it. I did prepare. Default settings are bad, just like YouTube. Yeah. I'm almost pretty sure YouTube is worse just because the other day I was watching, uh, what was it? It was a, not a very long video at all. And I want to say almost every two to five minutes there was an ad. I was like, really? I've barely gotten anything out of my video that I was watching and just ads galore. It's quite frustrating. I think I might combine like sort of the... Sort of this, sort of this, plus like plating. It's funny because like Drake's gambeson is blue like this little lad. <laughs> and it's even like quilted like that. I mean, it's supposed to be kind of quilted. I have a blue gambeson that is quilted, but Mine is, uh, short, it's, it's like this one, it's short sleeve. The one I have Drake wearing is longer sleeve, I think. Although, you don't really want it long sleeve, that's a lot of thick crap. And he does have an undershirt that I describe. I gotta get rid of these circles. Circles! 10 second video got two unskippable 15 second ads. Ugh, good lord, no. That's bad. That's why you have ad blocker. If I could do that on um, my TV, I would, but I don't have an ad blocker for the TV. Cause that, I have like a smart TV that I'm using and uh, the YouTube app is installed on it, which is awesome. But, um, yeah, I can't, I cannot skip the ads unless I want to pay them money and I sure as heck don't. <laughs> Canvasin is way too comfy. You have them, I can barely wear it since it's too warm. Oh, I know. I want to wear my Canvasin so bad. Like my, I, I bought it specifically for my, uh, my hyena, like Noel LARP character to wear when I don't want to wear like the uh, the fur part of her chest if I wanted to just wear the gambeson instead I could and then just wear like the head and the hands and the tail and the feet kind of partial it and whatnot but the gambeson is just as warm as the fur and I'm just like <laughs> no the things I am sad so weh I'm living my LARP life vicariously through my webtoon characters. <laughs> oh, I cry. Oh my goodness. LARP at minus 20. No. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, 
curse the freaking imperial system. Uh, what is that in Fahrenheit? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's definitely cold. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to do this. I will do... Uh, minus Fahrenheit. Yeah, pro I probably... Let's see. What does the thing say? Oh, yeah, it's minus four degrees in Fahrenheit. Good lord, that's cold. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, um, that's a little too chilly. <laughs> um, I think all of my bones will be frozen. Completely and utterly frozen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Lord. My siblings are messaging me since this weekend is Mother's Day. Oh, no. All right, then. Uh, I had a feeling I was going to have to be up early on tomorrow as well. I forgot today's Saturday. Goodness. This is weird uh, streaming on the weekend for me. Leo is out helping my, uh, his mom, my mother-in-law, with moving uh, some boxes with Halloween stuff back at the house. So he's gone at the moment. You had that a year or two ago? I'm gonna say not as bad as I thought. Really? You wear a full suit? Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Like, I, I took my first version of my werewolf suit that's like oh my god I think it's 15 or 20 years old now no it can't be that old it's got to be only like 10 years old anyway uh I took that suit out to the snow once when we uh, stayed at a cabin with some friends and it was the most fun ever. I was like, this is comfy. I am happy. I can romp around. And I'm pretty sure I scared many people's dogs. <laughs> they were not pleased. But I was just like, whatever. I don't care. I'm having a good time. Uh, it was fun. It was very fun. Ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. All these guys have really big gloves on. They copy pasted that freaking hand, I swear. Maybe not. <laughs> I wanna just copy paste a hand. Weh. I mean, as I was saying before, I might just hide all of that armor with something because I don't wanna have to draw it all the time. But I need to get better drawing armor anyway, because I do portraits for LARP people all the time. First things first. Game's in. If I work layer by layer, my brain will kind of like figure it out. You'd love to do that. Just running through the woods, hunting the small folk for sport. I mean, frolicking in the snow. Definitely frolicking in the snow. I won't lie to you. When I made my most recent version of my werewolf suit, I was so tempted to go out with like a buddy because I'm trying not to get shot. Um, <laughs> but a uh, you know, in my full raw suit, just run around like scaring people because we have some. It's like a public park that's wooded, and I mean. You know, as long as it's not past midnight or something, the cops won't arrest you for being over there. But, um, yeah, I want to freaking scare the lights out of people really bad. I just want to, I want to do it. I want to, I want to scare people really bad. <laughs> oh, this side view is really freaking with me right now. Oh. I'm also trying to go off of Leo's uh, armor that he had for our wedding. Maybe I can find that in my files. Where are the, where, where be the? Mm. 
I know he sent them to me. No, that's from high school. We don't want those. Hmm. Hmm. That's from rumors. <clears throat> Nope, those are old pictures from Leo. I'm sad. I don't have them. They must have gotten wrecked when my, um, oh, I do have pictures of my original werewolf suit, though. Oh. The work in progress pictures of it, at least. Hmm. Oh well. I could have sworn I had pictures of my wedding and all of the stuff. What about Halloween opportunities, Spirited? Uh, we definitely should do uh, some raw suit photo shoot, like photos, um, this year. I have like the tail almost ready it just have to sew the fur together and then stick it on the foam form and that will be ready to go although uh i do want to eventually get feet made for that suit as well like new feet I think I have those pictures. I am less sad. Oh well. Maybe, maybe next time I can. Well, I can actually, if I go to my Facebook, I guess I can. I can pull them from there. If you guys can't see this screen. I apologize. But um. Uh, my machine does not like this. <laughs> There's too much going on. Alright, well, there's some pictures. <laughs> you guys want to see a funny, a funny uh, photo of Leo and I at our wedding? <laughs> I loved, like, I absolutely loved our wedding. We look like such dorks, but it lives forever in my heart as the best day of my life. It just has to, I guess. <laughs> oh, come on. I got a couple. I got a couple. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> We're gonna open these. Because <laughs> I love torturing my... Oh, come on. Let me open them all. Open! Ready? Pew! <laughs> this is Leo and I at our... Uh, our like newlywed table? I don't know what you call that. <laughs> we were both so tired at this point in the day. It was so funny. <laughs> we actually, the funny thing about the decor is it all had to be kind of slapdashed together because our original venue burnt down a week before the wedding and the venue didn't tell us so <laughs> i had to call them because i was like hey you know i've been watching the news and the fire says you know the fire tracking of california is like hey this area is on fire like very on fire <laughs> and so yeah that was something 
So luckily my sister worked for um, the regional parks at the time and was able to get us. <laughs> oh, he, Leo just messaged me saying he can, he's watching the stream but can't see chat. Oh boy. Oh god, time has flown. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, the, the venue burnt down, but my sister was able to get us another venue really quickly. That ended up being cheaper, so we saved a lot of money. So that was good. Here's another cute um, photo of us together. We had some cute staged photos that we did. Tell you he looks quite gallant. <laughs> I'll tell him. We still have the armor. Uh, it's down in a box downstairs, actually. He needs to probably polish it a little, but... <laughs> Aw, thank you! It was... It was quite, uh, the... experience. <laughs> and then here's a fun one that our photographer did for us. <laughs> He's getting kidnapped by the faithful. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I did kidnap him. Or did he kidnap me? I'm not sure. But yeah, this is... This was uh, the whole, like, wedding party, if you will. The only funny thing is that, like, the sword needs to be in the foreground and not the background. But I don't think the photographer <laughs> knew how to quite Photoshop that way. Uh, but yeah, all of my bridesmaids had like these convertible dresses where they could tie them however they wanted and I let them decorate them however they wanted and accessorize however they wanted. Each one got a uh, a little uh, metal wire tiara like circlet to wear uh, and then all of his groomsmen got handmade um, like tabards um that his mom made. His mom made all of the tabards with all the like fake chainmail coifs and the groomsmen's gifts were swords with their names engraved on them. So all of these swords that they have legit yes the swords Leo is texting me yeah so yeah it was it was a an adventure day <laughs> Yeah, I need to find a better picture of the armor. <laughs> uh, that kind of works. <laughs> These shoulder things were just so large. I mostly just wanted to get the gorget part in my mind here. <laughs> you like to see more weddings? Absolute mayhem. Oh my gosh. It was... It was great. Uh, like, I had, we wanted like a fantasy, like RPG, D and D themed wedding because it was such a big part of our lives. We met in high school and like, you know, bonded over our assorted love of drawing anthropomorphic things, and, uh. You know, then he got me into theater tech and, uh, you know, I was still doing art with the art department and stuff, but, you know, I could use my skills in the, from the art department to help with, uh, the theater department because they had no skills with painting sets or anything and, uh... And yeah, and we got into playing games together. We played D and D with de several different groups together, and then um, we used to stay up all night playing MMORPGs while like on the phone because we didn't have anything like Ventrilo or Teamspeak or any of that yet. We just had cell phones. Well, not cell phones. We had landline phones, and uh, I would just sit on the landline phone. With Leo on the other like side <laughs> till o dark thirty at night, and we would talk while playing like Ragnarok online or uh, well, mostly that I think. Uh, 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, it. Um... <laughs> We're just silly. We're silly, fantasy loving people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we bonded over our love of a lot of fun things. <laughs> That's too long. That only takes up like to here. I don't understand. Whatever. We're gonna wing it. Yeah. yeah, I have people who uh, still tell me that our wedding was one of the most memorable things. The only reason it's memorable to me is because, uh, <laughs> well, not the only reason, but one of the reasons was that. I remember all of the people afterwards like telling me things that went wrong <laughs> and I was like, oh no, <laughs> so many things. Your schools were always surprisingly nerd free, barely even a theater program. Oh no, you gotta have theater. There's so much, there's so much good stuff. Theater so good, importante. Leo's gonna be home soon and I'm gonna be like, don't look at the screen! <laughs> Funny Van Wolf that you mentioned the uh Oh the internet's probably being funky on my end, I apologize. Um We've been having uh outages recently in general of electricity just because someone decided they were gonna ram their car into an important piece of equipment a few streets over, so <laughs> it is back! Huzzah! That's good. I was worried. I was like, oh no. Weh. Your PC has been weird. Oh no. You can type, huzzah! Hi, Leo. <laughs> oh, the bird is peeping real loud downstairs. I hear him. Bruce, the world is not falling apart. <laughs> it's okay. The ducks are not gonna hurt you. Krita crashed earlier? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hello? Yes, my little hello sticker. 
or emote. I guess they're called emotes on this. Uh, gosh, the phone almost fell over. <laughs> eh. I didn't think an email would uh, vibrate my phone so hard. Yeesh. Alright, so how am I going to take this very quilty thing? I could get out my own gambeset and be like, What are you doing? I need to know. It's gonna have to be some. Suspension of disbelief. <laughs> I do like this. Whatever this is going on here. And this. These cool little strappy things. Though you wouldn't see this on this side because this person is left-handed. That's left hand. Uh, Drake is right-handed. So his sword would be on his left side. Eh! Uh, you probably see like the crossover part. I guess. But I don't want to have to draw that. Screw it. We're gonna pretend it's not there. Yeah. Finger guns. You can't see what I'm doing. I forgot I don't have a webcam. Yeah. Eh. Gauntlet doesn't go all the way. Because yeah, he's got like a glove on. happening Buh. everyone's weekend going currently the weekend is going all right uh, I'm gonna be helping spirited move some stuff it's barely just begun all the things that need doing Front of your house concert yesterday. Wow, nice. I think I remember seeing you post about it. I like this though because I like having the visual interest in the front. Maybe we'll just have it. Since you want to stop screeching about it. <laughs> Looks like the stream is working. Hooray! Good, good. 
feel like my stream is cursed. <laughs> Not quite as cursed as it could be, but it's cursed nonetheless. backplate isn't even that big because it has to work around his uh, wings. But yeah, very much similar to Gargoyle's style. Um, wing detail. <laughs> I totally understand why they did it too, because boy howdy! <laughs> Trying to get anatomically correct stuff in a uh, comic constantly it would be stupidly hard. And then also take a lot of time, and animators don't have a lot of time, so I can see why they did that. Um... I think Leo is home. I hear movement and shenanigans. Shenanigans. How'd the live perform? Wait, hold on. I haven't read chat in a second. <laughs> Sabaton concert in. I can't say that word because I have terrible reading comprehension. Uh, oh, baby metal. That's cool. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Wrong tool. I hope Leo gets some lunch. Oh, right. They actually have to move the stuff from the back of the truck into the garage first. That's right. That's probably what they're doing. Yay. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. These wings would make no sense realistically, but stylistically, just fine. Yep, yeah, there's the garage. Long. I like long. Long tail. My dragon character has a uh, long tail as well. But hers is extra thick! Yep. <laughs> Leo, is, uh, is Tina watching as well, or can she hear? Or do you have your headphones in? Or your earbud? Either way, f funniness <laughs> is happening. Headset, alright. <laughs> I hope everything went okay over at the hangar. is like the most stiff I need I need the grid because I can't tell where crap is I'm definitely trying to like shove way too much information into this space but it's fine 
Building the character like a snowman. So you want a balance. I also want him to be about eight heads top. Eight heads high. <laughs> Morty is a bit overpowered. Oh, by the music. If you know the lyrics, you can definitely enjoy. Nice. Baby metal is a lot higher pitch. Had to wear headphones. Oh, yeah. Energetic. Sabaton is exactly as any video of their performance as you find. Dang. I'm going to have to look these... I know about baby metal, but I don't know about the other two, and I feel like I should look these up. I have a very limited, uh, um, exposure to music. Hold on. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Tall. They're really good. You highly recommend. I mean, I've listened to metal before. I don't really have a lot of it in like my playlists, but I don't hate it. I think it depends on my mood, like what I'm in in the mood for, like literally. <laughs> ground, the ground is there. <clears throat> tall indeed, yes, eight heads tall. In his draconic form, he's supposed to be uh, at least a foot taller than, um, than Iris is, so that's about a uh, full head higher because uh, height difference is fun and yeah so Iris is only like you know she might actually be a little shorter than that yeah, she's got I'll do a height chart at some point that has them all together. It's not Screamer Metal, similar to Disturbed. Oh, what a variety. Nice. Yeah, Iris is. Um, curvy bean. Like me. You just saw Iris sketch next to him and mentally didn't catch up and <laughs> just went, Lady D? <laughs> oh, because oh, the... Is it because the... She just needs the hat, right? And then, like, the... Uh, that crazy dress or whatever. If I was a taller person, I would absolutely dress up as Lady D, but I am not a taller person. <laughs> uh, yep, <laughs> it's the line. It was the line of uh, height. <laughs> the tallness line. Yes, I will make up words and they will sound official. <laughs> <laughs> and be a short stack. <laughs> oh, maybe. I mean, I'd have to get a better, like, I'd have to get a new corset that actually fits because I grew out of a lot of the ones that I have. <laughs> I 
the world of an art person does not yield much time for uh, <laughs> exercise, as well as the fact that I am basically allergic to the sun. Every time I go outside, I end up with like more moles and freckles and stuff, like within a few days that are obnoxious. A Regency-inspired dress, you could get away with bra length. Oh yeah, a stay would work, huh? I have a friend who makes those. Yeah, because those just kind of... They just go here. Kind of. Yeah. Well, they kind of... They kind of do a little bit. It's... I would definitely... I haven't cosplayed in a hot minute. <laughs> Um, Leo and I actually used to go to anime conventions together. We went to, um, we went to Comic-Con, I think, once. I went to, s oh, no, wait, we didn't go to Comic-Con together, I don't think. But we did go to Anime Expo. A couple times. And that was fun. Leo dressed up as um, Ike from Fire Emblem one year. And he had a gigantic sword made of like cherry wood. So all the other cosplayers who had their like plastic, like all the other Ike cosplayers that we ran up like ran into with their swords they're like oh yeah let's battle and he, leo was like no you don't want to do that my sword will break yours <laughs> and uh you know theirs were made of like white wood or plastic or foam or whatever and they did not heed the warning and sure enough a couple of them got their you know things bent or chipped Like, I sorry, I warned you. <laughs> Heck, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I tried. <laughs> we tried to tell you. <laughs> Why you no listen? I do not have a proper balance for this boy. It's okay. To clarify, uh oh. <laughs> Leo's here. <laughs> Leo's here in the chat. He's coming to get me. so that he does not fall backwards. I mean, the tail is helpful for balance anyway, but you told him not to. He swung at you. And you block. True. Very true. You'd love to cause to do cosplay, but don't want to shave your beard. Any characters out there with a red beard? Yeah. Um. You could also temporarily dye your beard to match other colors, with like a um, like a spray on. Well, it's what we used to use in the theater all the time, like a spray on color that washes out with water. What was it? Leo says, and you put an inch deep gash in his pine wood guts sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ganondorf with a beard. Dude. That would be so rad, actually. I think he would look good with a beard as a character in general. He has had a beard in uh, one of the games, I thought. You're not that sexy. Aww. <laughs> Everyone can cosplay. Cosplay is for everyone! She's not even on the same plane. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I have done the silly. That's okay, though. We don't actually need her here. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, it's already almost 11. I only have an hour left. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so used to my other streams where I have so much more time. <laughs> Say it with me. You're hot as fuck. Hell yeah. <laughs> I definitely have that problem where I think a lot of my friends are... Uh, like... Well, especially my LARP friends. I'm like, everybody's sexy. What do I do? <laughs> what do? Buy panic ensues. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these. I don't need them. They're throwing off my balance. They're throwing me off. Blah, 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 blah. I have no idea what my avatar is doing when I do that. <laughs> uh, also... We can move. Oop. Where is one of those lines? Where is a down one of the inch markers? There's one. Baha! -ha. <laughs> he looks like he's not wearing pants. There are pants! I promise there are pants! There's a, uh, there's a leg guard. Like a shin guard. At least in my brain thoughts. He's got, like, whittle pants on. only thing is I originally <laughs> in the written version of the story there is no mention of if he's wearing shoes <laughs> and part of me wants to not give him shoes that so that like it's just never mentioned in the web the the web comic that he's just freaking barefoot for the first like chapter and a half <laughs> just no shoes just feeties he got claws why wear shoes exactly exactly like you got you got your clawed feet like they're they're good i might have like a little some kind of armor piece for the long bones the metatarsals here something to keep those safe but like let the little feeties go. Let the little toesies breathe. We can always just say certain things are just magic because magic reasons. Or like some of the armor falls off. Or something in the space between worlds. Anatomically correct namings. Yes. <laughs> I had to... St okay, so story time from college. I... And one of the few people in my class during, um, we had a special art class that was just for heads, hands, and feet. Like the whole semester was nothing but learning those. And we used to have tests on the muscles and the bones. And I was the only person who got like over 90% of the things correct on like the hand uh, bones. <laughs> Go out of your way. <laughs> Just never have his feet in frame. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, there is a, there is a rule about when you make panels for comics that you never, um, you never cut off a character at a joint. I was learning things. Actually, it's easier if it's one of these guys, the guy on the side here. So like, don't cut somebody off at the waist. Don't cut somebody off at the knees or at the ankles. You gotta kind of like pick. Oh yeah, and like not like right at the fucking shoulder. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it like here or here or like between. So like I could probably do these and these and get away with it, and no one will ever know he's not wearing shoes. <laughs> I 
Your bassy voice sounds pretty good, though. Oh. Well, I look forward to uh, hearing your voice reel for the, the live the live reading of the story, Fanwolf. I look forward. <laughs> Would you be disappointed, Van Wolf, if you ended up uh, being the perfect voice for a different character? The pressure! <laughs> like, if I hear your voice and I go, oh gosh, it's perfect for so-and-so, would you be sad if you weren't playing the character that shares your name? You had to learn the Latin and German names of mammal and bird bones. Oh, not all individual ones except for the skull for school. Oh, that's craziness. That's a lot of bones. We didn't have to learn the Latin names. Only, um, only whatever the medical names were that we could get a hold of. If you work better for another, you'll do that one. Yeah, I, I, I also feel like in <laughs> after being in theater for long enough, my brain is like a live reading, like a cold reading would be okay, but I kind of want to do a uh, semi warmer reading in the sense that like everyone that gets chosen for a voice line or a voice character gets a chance to kind of see the script. Because in the written version, I've kind of put, uh, uh, what do you call those, um, parentheses with sort of the tone of the sentence or the tone of the action. Like I was saying, the format is insanely strange, but uh, it's meant to make it easier for both me later when I have to draw things and make expressions correctly, and B for the reading uh, to make it easier on everybody. At least you have a healthy interest <laughs> obsession with skeletons, skulls, and bones. Had the time of your life. Well, that's good. That's very good. It's always nice when it's something that you enjoy. Oops, I'm in green still. We don't want green. We're using this color. Be -be -be -be. Maybe we'll do like one of those where it's like segmented right here at the ankle. And then it comes down into like a semi long plate. I've seen those, they're kind of neat. They're like multiple pieces of metal that slide over each other with like pins. We a highlighted word. Hello. Am I familiar with vocal ranges? I am not. I I was in chorus when I was in elementary school and they told me I was a uh second soprano and that's as good as I've got with words that are <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any of that knowledge, but I've got, um, I've got a dream. <laughs> I don't know. Um, like there are, there are definitely characters in the story that I've got like a, an idea of what I want them to sound like. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't have any professional knowledge in that field. I would say, uh, me personally, I do not have a very large lo uh, vocal range. Not local range. Vocal range. Because I cannot make my voice very low or very high without hurting myself. Alright, that's a good... 
guess a good side view, I think. Yeah, good enough. One thing that's going to be funny is that um, in Leo's, sorry, in <laughs> in Drake's draconic form, he only has, well, he, long ago, he only had three toes because like the gargoyles in the old cartoon, that's what they had. And then they had a dewclaw. But because I am absolutely... Um, weirded out by suddenly a new like digit appearing when he has like human foot you know with five toes it would be weird so he gonna have four you guess the best descriptor would to say you can do voices in the cronk to vader range also some accents accents are good I would love to have uh, some good accent work on this for the for the reading because um, Drake has an accent, Alexander Gray has an accent. Um, oh my gosh, who else? Uh, one of the members of. Oh, it's Rovina. Rovina has an accent as well. It seems I mostly need m masculine voices with accents. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna... You will not... Oh, I don't expect anybody to be a pro voice actor for this. Don't worry. There is no judgment here. Yeah, expectations will be low. I mean, like I said, my last... Well, not my last, but... Uh... Let's see. The last time I was... Part of theater was in junior college and the only reason I would say uh, I would I guess judge you is if you don't take direction well in the sense of like if I say maybe add more of this inflection like I'm I'm all about giving examples before like just saying no you're doing it wrong I'm not that kind of person because I cannot take that kind of crit criticism either it's not constructive in any way I'm about like hey uh what about doing this and then I'll like do it myself to as an example so like if a delivery might be a little um flat then I'll I'll Probably uh, like do a sample. <laughs> but it also doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not expecting it to be like perfect. There is no such thing as perfection. So it's mostly just a matter of um, making sure that. <clears throat> The, um, the emotion and um, inflection are conveyed properly. That's more or less it. You have the range of witch cackle to, huh, I thought you were a dude for, for over a year with absolutely no control of this. Perfect. <laughs> would you like to, <laughs> would you like to voice a character? <laughs> I might have a character for you. <laughs> I mean, I have... Let's see. If I can open the recents. Deedly 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 dee. 
Uh, it doesn't want to do that. Open. Open! Oh yeah. Her name is actually Robina. Not Robin, but Robina. And I am a silly bean for that. But, um, yeah. I've got, I got characters that need voices. <laughs> We've got all five of these. Volsar, yes! <laughs> he is a summoned demon familiar of Eliza. One of several, but Volsar is the main, like, big non-fodder uh, kind. He is... <laughs> Uh, yeah? <laughs> Volsar would be considered single, yes. <laughs> and then we've got... Let's see if I can open. Here's, here's one of the other characters that needs a voice. Is Alexander. <laughs> and technically Nox. Nox also needs a voice, but... Uh... Yeah. No, Nox does need a voice, because uh, what I've got all written out so far is includes uh, the first time Iris hears Nox's voice. So, so yeah, we got tons of fun characters here that need uh, need life breathed into them. <laughs> is there an ad now? Of course there is. <coughs> Excuse me. My tea. Hmm. Hmm. See, I never know what the bitrate actually means. All I know is that this little happy line that is, when it's green, it's good. When it's red, it's bad. <laughs> I'll wait. I ran an ad and must wait to run another. I gotta figure out. 60 seconds. It's a whole minute long. Good lord. How do I... Can I? Can I do this while I'm live? Hmm. Hmm. I may not be able to. Scared if I fiddle with it now, it's gonna ruin something somehow. <clears throat> I need a thing. No, not the ruler. This thing that makes lines. Oh, crud. Um, how thick is this line right now? Five pixels? Five pixels. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna do... These fun things. Where I try to line up character features. Uh, his elbow is not right, but... Knee. Bottom of torso. Ankle. Foot. Ah! Computer, why do you jump scare me like this? Stop. I don't need this. That's a cute picture, but I don't need this right now. <laughs> Snoot. I should really make some of these different colors, actually. Hmm. Oh well. It's fine. Wee. 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 Toggle 
that overlaps. That's fine. That's normal. How did it do that? How did I do that? I don't think I could recreate that perfect freaking line if I wanted to. Um, yeah, that's elbow way. <laughs> These don't necessarily matter. Hmm. Good enough. <clears throat> do, do. Now I can make the freaking grid go away because it's too distracting. Hooray! Uh, feature lines. I did a course in college that was uh, life drawing for animation. And I learned this trick there with uh, making sort of um, feature ruler lines. Is it still running an ad? Am I still stuck in ad land? Please, no. I hope not. That would suck. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm gonna draw over here. Hello, face. You are free of the curse that is Twitch ads, yes. I will definitely um, mess around with the freaking settings because it's obnoxious at this point. I hear him. Hello. Hello. I heard you were looking for voices. Stop it! <laughs> you already have, like, first dibs on, on Drake's voice, <laughs> since he's your character. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? My love. <laughs> I have not eaten since... Nine o'clock. Would it be possible to get me uh, a nibble of something to eat? Uh, I don't know. A simple PB and J sandwich. What? Okay. Have you eaten? Yeah, but we should eat again before we go working on um, spirited's. Oh, that's true. We could just do that. Yeah, I think I still have a half a slice hanging out in the top of the fridge. <laughs> yeah. I do like sandwich. <laughs> but we have pizza. <laughs> Slowly removing more and more of the vowels <laughs> from the word sandwich. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Leo, um, Leo is still a pretty good actor, in my opinion. <laughs> he, um, he DMs our, well, he is a DM for one of our Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. And, um, yeah, he does voices and they can scare people sometimes. Which I think is awesome <laughs> because he gets very loud and like into it and it's very much a f fully immersive experience, which can be a little traumatic to some people, I think. But um, I have to, you know, let people know he's it's just an act. He's not going to hurt you. I promise. <laughs> 
He's just being dramatic. Alright, drawing digi legs from the front is very funky. Uh, this is gonna be. <clears throat> gotta have the weird leg squat. <laughs> the weird leg squat. And then perspective's gonna throw it back a little. Longth. <laughs> Both of us have lovely voices. Aww. You're gonna you gonna make me blush. <laughs> Tend to use dog or cat legs as reference. Yeah. You're just a little <laughs> you're a little what? <laughs> Bod guy? Ooh, I don't know what that meant to be, Leo. I don't know. What word is that? Uh. <laughs> You're reading it as bald. Same! Oh, bard. Bard might be correct. <laughs> A bald guy? No! <laughs> oh, bad guy. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> bad guy. <laughs> How are you a bad guy? <laughs> I don't understand. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, you're not a bad guy. You just... Uh, I think sometimes your, your ability to emote loudly can frighten people. <laughs> like, we get... We get to, um, like, critical role levels of loud. <laughs> Bald bard people are bad. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I just realized he's off kilter. I have an idea. We're going to use the magic rulers. And the grid again because I can't see. Hello. Where is it? Grid! He's not on the grid. Mm. Mm. Fine. Let's take this whole piece and move it onto a midline for me. One of them. Any of them. That one's fine. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Okay. Uh, eraser soft. We're gonna do this. And then I'm going to make snap to grid ruler. Hello. Middle of the face. Ruler! Now I can mirror whatever I want. Yay. You can do a pretty good Puma Soul impression. Lol! Awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Puma Soul. I mean, hmm. That's almost like Nox. A little? But maybe less of the tired feeling that Pumatsol has. Uh, where am I? Because uh, I always felt like Pumatsol sounded sort of tired. Ooh, I need to turn the snap to grid off. <laughs> Yellow. No. Do not do. Eh. I love me a mirror tool. Does me a good time. The leggies are so close together now. <laughs> oh well. Wait, that could be your cosplay? Oh yeah! That would be cool. Ba 
ta 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 This is gonna be weird. It doesn't like doing mirrors of this. Cause that's gonna be off center now. Eh. <clears throat> A very good character. Kumatsu, like they just, they just got good characters in general. Mm. Is that my eraser right now? Heck. Go back to being the hard eraser, please. Uh, pen. Paint blush. That's the shoulder. Then that needs to actually be down here. Yay! And then technically your elbow touches about where the end of your rib cage is. And then wrist is about here. Yay! <laughs> making space, making space. I have too many what? I do have teeth. Yes. Yay, thank you. <gasps> Potato salad, thank you. It's once again accidental ASMR on the stream time. <laughs> you think you left around episode 20? I have not been watching season 3 or whatever, campaign 3. Because I I don't know, something about the characters, I just couldn't get into it. Spuds, yes, potato salad. Oh god, it's so hot. <laughs> Pizza hot. <laughs> Laudna lured you in. It's not your fault, Leo. <laughs> it's normal for it to be hot. I'll just eat some of the potato salad first. While the pizza cools off. Because at noon I gotta shut this off. So I got about a half hour. And then... um I gotta get dressed and get ready to start helping with Spirited's moving process. Yeah. A spoon. Yeah, Lana is a neat character, and I like, I think her name is Fern? Fern yeah. yeah, Fern as a character I liked, but the other characters just kind of fell off for me for some reason. Also, yes, I love that Fern is such a gremlin. Like, Fern gives me the vibes that half the fey people at the LARP that I like to go to are like, they're just these little gremlin people that cause chaos. They get better later on. Yeah, I, my only problem is that like, I don't like having to grind episodes for the context in order to get to the good part. Pardon me as I shove potatoes in my mouth. Yum yum yum. I definitely need to make one of the make a toggle for this avatar that's just me munching on something. The monkey seems too much. Yeah. There's a point where too many mascot characters in a story saturates it to the point where no one cares anymore. Uh, I think that was part of the problem with like Moana, the in the movie. Um, there was just too many mascot characters. There was Hey Hey, and then the there was the pig, and just too much. Too much. People, people need like. 
one little mascot creature to, to fall in love with that they can just do whatever. At least that's my opinion. Little Mister was better in e oh, EXU. He gets less screen time than Frumpkin. Yeah. I was going to say, Pate is the, um, isn't that Laudna's little deceased rat puppet thing? Sorry, not Pate. Pate. I can read. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I thought that was a very, like, clever, like, idea, like, character or creature idea. I can't draw the wings yet because they're going to be in the way. That's okay, though. only works on one side. You have two rats lined up to make versions of pate you can legally make over here. Nice! That's right, you do... I've got a lot of people I follow that apparently do taxidermy stuff. <laughs> it's definitely a fascinating um, like practice. Actually, I think the pollen should be kind of stuck to this instead. Might be stuck in several places. <clears throat> and then, uh, this is a mess. I'll live. I can interpret my own BS. I sketch everything on the same layer? I do! Uh, this is all on one layer at the moment. Um, the feature lines are on their own layer. Um, but yeah, I do... Like, I sketch a lot in my sketchbook. Uh, and then... Like, you can kind of see it in the background there. Uh, I do a lot of things by hand first to work out the nonsense and then um <clears throat> oh gosh the telegram messages begin um and then i just sort of do a an initial messy layer of things
And then I'll go over it again later um, with a much cleaner line. Body and clothes later. I could. I very much could. A little late now, but I could. <laughs> um, I mostly have been trying to just figure out the outfit designs at the moment, because with webcomic miss approaching, I want to make sure that that's at least the outfit design is covered. And then, um, and then I can deal with the more nuanced stuff like what everybody looks like Nakey. Because, <laughs> uh, at least not everybody, at least a few characters like Drake and Iris, since they're the ones that are mostly going to have the, the 18 plus part. I mean, it's not a lie. <laughs> it's in there. Uh, I just... That part of the webcomic is going to be exclusive access. I like the idea of, like, this being longer, actually. Because it's not right at the... It's not right at the um, knee line. Plus, who doesn't like a long coat, right? Oh gosh. Hello? Get out of here. Ah. You tend to do full Nike first, then add clothes, so you were interested. Oh yeah! I mean, I do too! I like doing full Nike and then clothes. Um, I definitely did that in my regular sketchbook. There are there are sketches that cannot be shown on Twitch <laughs> because I, uh, well, I almost did. Um, I had to immediately close the document. Uh, when I get my Picardo up and running, though, <laughs> then then I might um, just draw there. Um, for, for the webcomic. For any, at least, of that stuff. You don't bother with the fun parts, just Barbie level naked. Yeah. I know you were having difficulty with um, one of your drawings recently, one of your ref sheets getting tumblered. <laughs> uh. Yeah, mosaics. Yeah. I like your ref sheets. They're very cool. pants. Just plain trousers. Oh my god, five ads. I really am so sorry. I'll fix it, I promise. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn that down. I don't know if I can do it now while I'm live. This line is wrong. Oh well. And not even the lesbian at this time. You feel robbed. 
Oh no. Lost the void. You return! Success! I was gonna say. I was like, I wish I could mess with the ad um, like frequency right now, but I'm afraid it might heck something up. While I'm live. But, um... aren't they? Sorry, whooshy whoosh. Oh, I'll have to wait to mess with that till after the mirroring is gone. That's too wide. Why? Yeah, I know the lizard nips got flagged. That makes no sense to me. He doesn't even have a skin covered crotch. Yeah. It's it makes no sense. That's why I was thinking that um uh, some rando must have seen your your art and completely freaked out and reported it or something because there's no reason. I saw nothing wrong with your, your ref sheet. And I'm from the U.S. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I will say I probably have a more relaxed sense of um, of nudity because of my art background. But you know, U.S. mindset. It is so weird. Yeah, the uh, the U.S. has a problem. It's like sex sells, but only in private, but also not. And I'm just like, eh. <laughs> brain, brain break. Mouth. Mouth. Tr Drake does not seem to smile very much. <laughs> oh yeah, the US is like, ads is turbo sexualized, but don't dare discuss, guess, don't discuss what the overtones mean. Yeah, it's so dumb. Oh, this is... I think it's time to turn off the, um... The ruler. It's screwing me up now. Leo, did you want the, um... Potato salad? Okay. What? 
Oh yeah, I'm munching on it now. Those advertisers pay to stuff smut into your face on YouTube, but your creator vids better not say poop. Yeah. <laughs> we can't even have a pair of uncensored titties on a TV show during the day. Um, now with streaming services, it's not so bad, but basically, yeah. It's hard because um, it depends on the time of the week because children of certain ages are still home and or there's always like um, sorry, my brain got into art mode having to rotate things because I can't see. Hold on. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I needed to grab the little X. You. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, because pe like there are kids at home or whatever, and um. But I don't know, cause when people are at work and kids are at school during the week, it's like, so what? Who cares? I feel like it's worse to have stuff at the in the evening when kids are all back from school and um, could see things. It's like, what, does every kid in the U.S. go to sleep at like 7 o'clock? No. So, I don't know. I don't know what they think they're doing. One distinctive hair thing. has to go the other way at some point. There we go. Good enough. Yay! Yeah. Hair. Cult cultural differences between US and Europe always blindside you. Yeah. Sometimes I just wish people would make up their minds when it comes to, like, what we can and can't have. Especially on the internet. Like, I can't tell you how many websites have probably prospered due to, like, you know, sexy content. And then they're like, nope. I cast you out. The whole Tumblr thing. At 13? Wait, hold on. You'd much rather live in the EU. Yeah, same. Your father hands you a Playboy. Objectify the women. Also your father. Man, these cartoons will rot your morals. Yeah. Your dad is a piece of work, Leo. <laughs> yeah, at 13. Yeah, I mean, your dad. <laughs> your dad still, when we were together was like kept asking you to um yeah to shop around which is insulting as hell to me but you know whatever oh yeah it took they can't hear you but i'm repeating what you're saying um it took his dad six years to acknowledge our freaking relationship 
Yeah, that it wasn't just some high school fling. Yeah. I was just like, really? It's been... <laughs> We've been together for six years. Come on, man. It's probably lasting a while. Like, meanwhile, my sister, bless her soul, uh, was going through guys like tissue paper. <laughs> and they were all very abusive, yeah. But my parents approved of them because they were, like, part of our, you know, religious whatever. I'm not religious anymore. Yeah, and then Leo, an openly agnostic person, is like, still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh yeah, it took forever. I think it honestly took my parents up until, um, up until the end of college, probably, to truly understand that you weren't going anywhere. <laughs> High levels of denial. Oh, yeah. I don't want to miss you when you're saving Please tell me you run I almost feel like my comic is going to be one of those front facing Drake can't hurt you, and then here's front facing Drake. <laughs> it's like when you see those cartoons where they always show the characters in three quarter or side view and never from the front, and the one time they show them from the front, it's like, ugh. <laughs> Yes, stop turning the horses to face me. I actually use um, a mixture of sort of shark and horse to do uh, the stylized version of Drake's face. Eyes closer together and higher up. Yeah, I'm... I made this line... Weird. His face is also kind of squished in this form. Like, wider. Cast of your week! Hello! Unfortunately, there's only like 10 minutes left of the stream. Phineas front view. Oh no! <laughs> no Phineas front view, please! <laughs> oh, what I can do. Here's this magic tool here. Yoink! <laughs> this is a fun tool. It still lines up, but it looks better now. <laughs> Why did I? Why did you? The laughter in the background. Can you hear Leo laughing? <laughs> Happy no matter what time you go to watch. I'm sorry. Probably next Saturday's stream won't be so time crunchy. It's just because I have obligations today. But yeah, this looks a lot better. Also getting uh, Link vibes from, <laughs> from Drake right now. <laughs> of course, you're fine with it. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> you happen to be up? Usually you're a night owl. Oh. Those are some Link Fives. Very Link Fives. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I won't lie. I have never actually played any of the Legend of Zelda games myself, but I have watched friends play them. Uh, almost all of them. I think. And Link as a character, I have found endearing. And I love the way that... Uh, I liked Twilight Princess a lot, and, uh, uh, what is it, uh, time, the time one, yeah, Ocarina of Time, yeah, I liked Ocarina of Time and, um, Twilight Princess a lot, <laughs> 
please give them a panel where they're swinging a sword. It's like, yeah, I mean, there is a panel that will happen at the very beginning. There's a fight scene. Like in the, um... A silly chibi used to break up story beats. That'd be hilarious. As like a... <laughs> Meanwhile... There will probably be places in the margins or like things I can do that are fun like that. I've been reading Witch Hat Atelier. So, uh... I've been getting inspired by the way that that artist does panels and how they are really artsy in a fun way. Like, um, how the way, like, uh, things will break through the, the borders of the panel and, like, sprawl across the page onto the next page and uh I don't know it just kind of sets a mood that's just really fun uh, that's the elbow line isn't it it is okay so Oh, I didn't make that line long enough. It's about here, though. Unfortunately, I have to stop soon. I don't wanna, but I gotta. I promised. I promised that would help. Anyway. Billy, Billy, Billy. I haven't missed anybody's chat, have I? I'm trying to be good about looking over at it. Wingdings! Hey, wait, sir, it's too small. <laughs> Obviously, it's both sides, but we don't want to cross over. <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty good. And then I have to do a back view. Womp womp. <laughs> oh, dear. Is everything okay in the uh, moving telegram? It's been going off, I think. I haven't looked. Because I fear I am getting random people messaging me on a telegram and I hate it so much. I don't know you. Yeah, I have to stop the stream, sadly. I will be streaming again on Wednesday and then again on next Saturday. Uh, Wednesday at my usual uh, afternoon time of 3 p.m. to about 9 p.m. And then uh, next Saturday, same time as this, 9.30 a.m. to about noon. But yeah, thank you for coming, everybody. I appreciate you chatting with me while I rack my brain on how to make fashion <laughs> fashion yeah <laughs> we 
love fashion. We love it. <laughs> yeah, now I have a better idea of what things are going to look like uh, for the comic itself. And, um... Then we can start, I can start making panels soon. I might do some panel work on a stream, who knows. I've never, I've never made a proper, like, modern webcomic. <coughs> so, we'll see how my skills with, uh, composition go. <laughs> It'll be a test. Quite a test. Anywho, thank you everybody for stopping by. Fairly well for now. Uh, and see you next time. Bye-bye.